Hi there, this is Michael. Uh, today we're going to be doing a book haul video, so I'm going to go through some vintage horror that I've got, uh, some new horror books uh, that I picked up, as well as a couple of YA books. Uh, so yeah, sit back and relax and we'll uh, go through some of these books. Okay, so before we get to the books, I just want to recommend this movie, Last and First Men, by Johan Johansson. It's a fantastic science fiction uh, movie that's narrated by Tilda Swinton. If you get a chance, please check this out. It's fantastic. All right, first up is Haunter by Charlie Jacob. Uh, this appears to be something about a god coming back in an American GI's body in a Cambodian village. Uh, so, something about demons in that. Looks really good. Next up is The Pet by Charles L. Grant. This one looks to be about a serial killer in a small town called The Howler uh, and some sort of evil green fire. So, we'll see what's happening with that. I like the horse on the front cover. Something evil with that as well. Alright, next up is The Shroud by John Coyne. Something about a young priest on Christmas Eve driven to a nameless hunger. So I don't know if this is a vampire story or what this is, but maybe it's a young priest, old priest story. We'll have to see. Next is The Piercing by John Coyne. This appears to be about a uh, woman's possession, and there's some other priest involved in this one. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but nothing hurts worse than perfect love, it says on the back. And I absolutely love the cover. That's what sold me on this. This one is intriguing, Welcome Back to the Night by Elizabeth Massey. I don't know much about this book other than it's a, a f evil family reunion, some sort of terrifying connection. Uh, let me know if you've read anything. This one looks pretty interesting, sort of broken up into three acts as well, which is nice. The novelization of The Omen by David Seltzer. Uh, if you haven't watched the movie The Omen, I recommend you go watch that right away. Uh, it's about the son of the devil or the Antichrist being born. The Final Conflict by Gordon McGill. This is the third Omen movie being put into book form. Uh, so yeah, don't read this until you've watched the actual movies. Uh, and don't jump right to the third one, that's for sure. Now I've already got a copy of this book, but if you see these, you should snap them up so you can get them to your friends. The Secret Diary of Laura Palmer. Uh, this is a fantastic little addition to the TV series, if you love that TV series as much as I do. I never thought in my 40s I would fall in love with a YA series so much as I love The Babysitters. Uh, this is such a good series. Uh, it's getting better and better as it goes. Um, full review coming soon. Found a couple more of these Dark Forces books, Eyes of the Tarot and Waiting Spirits by Bruce Colville. I love the cover of that Eyes of the Tarot. That's really creepy looking and uh, well painted. And Waiting Spirits looks good as well. Uh, fun YA horror. And another YA horror, The Power, The Possession. Uh, this one is about an evil shawl that possesses a girl. Uh, she becomes a witch, I guess. A horny witch? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll figure that out, I guess. And a couple more of the Fright Time books. Uh, I do love this series. Um, I never read this when I was a kid, but these have been fun to sort of uh, lounge around the house and read. I will be passing these on to my niece uh, when I'm done with these. Next is Paradoxes from Hell by Thomas Ligotti. Uh, this was a limited edition, uh, 600 copies, put up by Chirepta Press. Uh, this is signed and autographed by Thomas Ligotti. I've got number 363 of 600. Uh, it's a collection of two poems and a short story, and it is very well done. Um, I do recommend this if you get a chance. The Murders of Molly Southbourne by Tade Thompson. This one looks really good. It's about a woman that every time she bleeds, another version of herself is born that wants to kill her. Uh, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, sort of a doppelganger book. And keeping with the theme of close-ups of women's lips is Your Misery is for Entertainment Purposes Only by Craig Podmore. This is a sick and twisted story uh, from a woman's point of view. It's read sort of from her, conscious, her stream of conscious. It's very graphic. I bought this one on the cover alone, The Apparition Phase by Will McLean, because it looks frickin' spooky. Uh, but this is about some twins that fake ghosts uh, in their school, and it sets into a deadly chain of events after that. So, should be good. And lastly is the collection Revelations, uh, put out by Stygian Sky Media. It is a collection of horror authors, um, 
talking either about climate action or it's related to that, and the money being raised by the sales of this book is going towards a good cause as well. Uh, some of the authors are Gemma Moore, Clive Barker, Jora Lansdale, Adam Neville, um, Philip Fricassi, which I'm very much looking forward to reading. Uh, but yeah, it's a fantastic looking book. Highly recommend this one. All right, that's it. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these books. Uh, let me know if you love the Babysitter series. Uh, let me know if you've read any of those John Coyne books either. Um, those look very good. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.